double point for the free qualifying stage. Book at choicehotels.com. Now, here's the man who's been recognized as radio's best. The recipient of not one, but two prestigious Marconi Awards for his broadcast excellence. The one and only. change about that whatsoever. The inside of the Democratic Party, they all knew that Joe Biden was mentally incapable of not just running for office again. He could not discharge the office of presidency of the United States. It's been apparent since the beginning. We're going to play later some uh, debate cuts of uh, from 2012 when Paul Ryan teed it up against Joe Biden and compare it to what happened on Thursday night. Right now, Joe Biden is a babbling clown and a fool who should not be in the office of the presidency right now. It's uh, getting late on Sunday night. He should not be in office. He's mentally incapable of discharging the duties. And you know it. I know it. The Democrats know it. The media knows it. But all they want to deal with is Donald Trump and oh, supposedly his dirty lies put together by some left-wing activists at CNN. Every day, every hour, I don't every like working with every people decision, who have mental... Problems. Oh. All we do is babysit this. Got a lot to be disrespectful to staff. You know, got a lot to threaten us. And, and, you know, threaten us. You know, you know, yeah, we're not allowed to say anything. Yeah. Big father. He's got a big heart, and I'm about vomiting. I felt like Hunter Green, a Reds pitcher on the mound the last two of the last three starts. <laughs> uh, I think of projectile vomiting and explosive diarrhea when I hear Democrats say, you know, Joe Biden is really a good man. Well, let's go over some of the record of this good man. He's been in office now for more than 50. Uh, in middle class lifestyle, but he's got at least three homes on the Atlantic Ocean. Where'd that money come from? Ziegler and Shapley, the IRS, told us where the money came from. They couldn't pursue it. Early on, he started sexually molesting women in, uh, in the Senate. Keep going. Uh, one on. of the most prominent ones was Tara Reid, who claimed that she was raped by Joe Biden and that she now is in such fear of her life she's left the country. Several other women came forward and said he's a creep. Senator Joe Biden is a creep and he's a liar. Look at the last time he ran for president, I think in 1988 or so, when he lied about Neil Kinnock uh, picking his words out of a speech from the Labor Party in London word for word, he lied about that. And all the hair sniffing, have you seen the numerous uh, photos of uh, Senator Joe Biden sniffing women's hair while grabbing them up by the butt? Now can you, this is the Ted Kennedy approach, and the, med the media loved T Senator Ted Kennedy, even after he killed Mary Jo Kopechny, he was the conscience of the Senate. There wasn't a skirt in Washington, D.C. that Ted Kennedy didn't chase to its logical conclusion. Nonetheless, the media loved Ted Kennedy, and they would not report objectively on his behavior. They do not report objectively on the behavior of Joe Biden because he's a good man. He's a good president. he got a good heart. What about Ashley Biden? 
his biological daughter with Dr. Jill Biden. Please say doctor. In fact, I have a doctorate, Juris Doctorate. Maybe you should call me Dr. Willie. I regress. Nonetheless, in her diary, Ashley Biden, who was in drug rehabilitation at the time, said that her, her father, Joe Biden, forced her to take showers with him. And that caused her to have such sexual dysfunction, she became a sex addict and a drug addict. That's Joe Biden. He's a good man. I mean, Ashley Biden, he's, he's a good man. And you got Tara Reid, he's a good man. All the sniffing of the hair, he's a good man. Now you got the bag man, Hunter Biden, traveling around the world, collecting millions and millions of dollars in bags of cash for Joe Biden, Jim Biden, uh, Valerie Biden, the Biden grandchildren, etc. How do I know? Well, you had two career IRS agents, Shapley and uh, Ziegler. I think Joseph Ziegler and Gary Shapley testified under oath that they found numerous examples of Joe Biden and Hunter Biden collecting literally tens of millions of dollars, putting together 21 or 31 shell companies, LLCs, to receive the money without paying taxes. And the money was distributed, including to the Biden grandchildren. And they said they were barred from pursuing that matter because the DOJ did not want to pursue it. And the DOJ waited until after the FARA violations, the Foreign Agent Registration Act, had all got past the statute, so they couldn't be indicted on more serious charges. So after Shapley and Ziegler, by the way, Democrats testified about the millions and millions of dollars, the bags of cash flowing into the Biden family. I like that. Uh, they were, uh, shall we say, given the cold shoulder by the DOJ, and that caused the federal judge not to accept pleas to misdemeanors and no time in jail. Now, Hunter Biden is a legitimate, unlike Donald Trump, a convicted felon facing tax charges now in California. Well, let's face it, Joe Biden's a good man. He's got a good heart. He's a, he's a good president. He, you know, he's a fan. He loves his family. He loves all the family. And Michelle Obama came out saying a few days ago before the debate, that's the most dysfunctional family one could think about, but he's a good man. He's got a good heart. Bags of cash, sniffing the hair of women like a pervert, numerous charges of rape by Senate staffers against Joe Biden, Ashley Biden taking showers with her dad that caused her to become completely dysfunctional as an adult. He's a good man. He's a good father. Great father. <coughs> so, so I'm watching also today, and by the way, tonight the New York Times has a report that the family has got together and caucused, and they've all decided that he should remain in the presidency and should run for re-election. People at this powwow, of course, was Hunter Biden, who wants a pardon. He knows where the bodies are buried. He's got cash. One other little <coughs> thing is that when Joe Biden had just left the vice presidency, he went to a uh, uh, council on foreign relations, and he proudly said to Ukraine and to Burisma that if you don't fire the prosecutor when he was vice president, uh, to quit investigating me and my son, Hunter, that Ukraine's not going to get a billion dollars in loan guarantees. And, and then he used some foul language and said, well, within six hours, the prosecutor was fired and the investigation was deep sixed and the media was kept from understanding the true corruption of Joe Biden. But he's a good man. He's got a good heart, good dad. And, uh, you know, those homes on the Atlantic Ocean are simply there just by happenstance. And he's a, he's a good saver. No. Shapley and Ziegler, the IRS, laid out how the Bidens received tens of millions of dollars created through shell companies put together by Hunter Biden to receive bags of cash from all over the country. Did the media cover that? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So the family gets together today. Ron Klain, uh, former White House Chief of Staff and Obama, Obama appointee. Anita Dunn, senior advisor to Joe Biden, also a holdover, a hangover from the Obama presidency, Bob Bauer, Biden's attorney, all the family members, including Jill Biden, oh, excuse me, Dr. Jill Biden was there, and they all said stay in office. I don't believe it. Not going to happen. I can see it occurring. And I said at the time that, uh, that uh, Trump should not accept such an early debate. It was put up by Ron Klain and Bob uh, Bauer and Anita Dunn and other holdovers from Obama to get Joe Biden out of office. Because they knew through all the run-throughs in Camp David how bad Joe Biden was going to be on Thursday night. They practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced. They knew exactly it would be an unmitigated disaster. And the friends in the media who have hidden now nice the senility there, of like Joe that. Biden for four years would go along with calling Donald Trump a liar 
And uh, Joe Biden is a good man with a good heart, who has uh, run a good presidency, and he uh, simply should go into the vineyards now and uh, just relax. And the media covered for him, and they keep covering for him. But what happened is, according to Obama, Michelle Obama, they think the next president, Michelle Obama, that the cries by the mainly the fundraisers and others would be so great that Joe Biden would leave office. And today's meeting was kind of scheduled to kind of set that up. But a little bit of a uh, impediment is that the family, the Biden family, and all the sycophants around him do not want to give up power because they think in their sick little left-wing minds that Joe Biden can see it through at the end of the year, be re-elected, and then within six months kick him out. Here comes Kamala Harris as the acting president until the next election. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. And uh, got way down the route later on, he's wrote a column about God's hand has got to intervene because I have this sick feeling in my stomach that the Democrats know they're going to go down in flames with this senile old 81-year-old air sniffer in office who can't put together disparate thoughts without a teleprompter, that he's going down to defeat and taking with him the Democrat Party. And the Democrats and the media can't let that happen. So what they need to do is create the circumstances in the next two to three weeks to have him continue as the president, although you and I and everyone knows he can't discharge the duties. He's mentally incompetent tonight. He's mentally incompetent. But they're going to say to him, look, let there be a brokered convention. They cannot walk over the top of Kamala Harris, black female. She identifies as a black female from an Indian mother and a Jamaican father who was raised in Canada. But she identifies as a black female. Hell, I might identify as a left-handed Ugandan refugee, and I become yeah, one, but nonetheless, <laughs> you can't walk over the top of Kamala Harris because the most loyal part of the Democratic base are black females. You can't walk over the top of her. Therefore, the only way to do it is with another black female. Not Oprah Winfrey, but Michelle Obama. That solves... Let me tell you something. For the first time in my adult lifetime, I'm really proud of my country. That's when her husband was elected president. Well, this will be the second time. The only way to solve the Kamala Harris problem is to bring in Michelle Obama, who's acting like a reticent uh, person struggling with it, don't want to do it, I'm resistant to the idea, but let's face it, to save the nation, I will do it. And then let my husband, which has been running the things the last four years anyway, become the president in reality, and I'll go back to my flower gardens into my ridiculous paintings and things of that character, and that's where we are. That's what I think. I laid it out for you. Want to get your reaction? 866-647-7337. And so, never let anyone forget how the media has lied to us for the last four years about Joe Biden and his policies. Don't forget that advocates for the destruction of our military has a friend in Joe Biden. Advocates for supporting Iran, which is what Obama did and Biden did, has a supporter in Joe Biden. And if you want to cut off and mutilate children's genitals, you have a supporter in Joe Biden. If you want open borders, if you want 12 to 15 million illegals to enter the country, you have a supporter in Joe Biden. And if you want, uh, if you want. Uh, to have circumstances where America is financially and morally bankrupt, you have a supporter in Joe Biden. The liars in the media have told us time and time again how smart Joe Biden is to hide the truth from you. One of the worst examples, of course, would be Joe Scarborough, also known as Baghdad Bob, who said about two weeks ago, quote, Start your tape right, this is, Joe Bur this is Joe Scarborough in his own words. Quote, start your tape right now, because I'm about to tell you the truth, and F you if you can't handle the truth. This version of Joe Biden, intellectually, analytically, is the best Biden ever. Not a close second, and I've known him for years, and if it weren't the truth, I wouldn't say it. Two weeks before the great debate, toward the middle of June, that's what Joe Scarborough said, MSNBC, NBC, quote, this version 
of Joe Biden intellectually, analytically, is the best Biden ever. Not even a close second. And I've known him for years. So if it wasn't the truth, I wouldn't say it to you. That's NBC News vouching for the intellectual capacities of Joe Biden in the middle of June, two weeks before the 27th. And there it is. They will not report facts to you that doesn't fit their agenda. If it fits their agenda, all the news that fits, we print. If it doesn't fit, we ignore it and attack the other side. So let's continue. To me, it is unbelievable what's happening in my country. And uh, Trump is the antidote to the venom and the poison that courses through the veins of this country. And uh, if Michelle Obama becomes president, and she's the absentee president, and her husband's running things, he's checked out too. And the policies on the southern border, the support of Iran, foreign relations, and the failure of the score, North Korea, China, Russia, and Iran will continue unabated. And uh, the country will continue to go down. If we can't survive, we've survived, what, uh, eight of the last 12 years with Barack Obama in the presidency. Eight of the last 12. Give his wife four to eight more years. Then you're looking something like uh, 16 of the last 20 years. Guess what? We're done. Open borders, runaway expenses, inflation, strong, straight power in the federal judiciary. Most of the judges will be see more companies make more things in this country. Buy more things from more companies who make things in this country. I refer in this case to the incredible t-shirts. I did my research and it led me to gold and that led me to Lear Capital. Over 25 years of experience, thousands of five-star reviews, and a 24-hour risk-free purchase guarantee. I encourage everyone to call Lear for their free $3,200 gold report at 800-927-2400. There's no obligation, just free education. And ask how you can qualify for up to $15,000 in bonus gold. Call 800-927-2400. That's 800-927-2400. 800-927-2400. There, it's Pat Walsh, and this month, American River Flooring is featuring their incredible painting services. How do I know they're incredible? Because they painted the inside of my home, the outside of my home, and it looks fantastic. Get compliments from my neighbors all the time, really change the look of the place. You know, you may not realize that American River Flooring is your one-stop shop for flooring, cabinets, painting. You can trust them to do a fabulous job in your home like they have in mine. Plus, if you schedule your interior paint job with American River Flooring and Painting before March 31st, 
you're going to receive $100 off every common area and $50 off every bedroom. Hey, give them a call. Schedule your no-pressure free in-home consultation. They can help you with any design and color tips for your paint job, and they're going to give you an honest and fair quote, I promise you. American River 40, 916-961-6100, 916-961-6100. Go to AmericanRiverFlooring.com or visit them, 8510 Madison Avenue in Fair Oaks. And if you do, would you please tell them Patrick sent you. Hi there, John McGinnis here. If you're thinking it's time to turn your retirement dream into your retirement living, you may be looking for a financial advisor to help put it all together. What should you expect from a financial advisor? Well, Mike Lester will be one of the most important things in his communication. Mike is a founder of Tower of Wealth. We believe that too many advisors are collecting fees and commissions. Very little to work with their clients. Mike doesn't think that's fair. In fact, we believe that you get your money's worth. We want to be sure that you have that experience. Tower of Wealth communication starts with a conversation to get to know each other. If you're retired or close to it, don't just take my word. Reach out to Mike Lester at Tower of Wealth Group for your complimentary, comprehensive financial plan. Call them at 916-545-6000. 916-545-6000. Or go online at guardingyournesting.com. Check it out today. You'll be glad you did. Talent Private Wealth LLC. Investing in stock markets involves the risk of loss, and there is no guarantee that all or any capital invested will be repaid. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. California license 0N00828. John McGinnis was compensated for this message. mistake that if uh, Donald Trump is re-elected president, all hell is going to break loose. The cities will erupt in riots. College campuses will become battlegrounds once again. There will be a flood in the southern border, the lights of which we've never seen until January the 20th, that foreign leaders may boycott and refuse to visit with uh, Donald Trump, that every appointee that he tries to make may not make it through the Senate. Because even if the Senate is, uh, is a Republican, it takes 60 votes to do almost anything in the Senate. At the front page of the newspapers, the websites, the uh, mainstream media will be crazy in reporting on the lies and the deceptions and the misapplications of Donald Trump. It'll be complete chaos if uh, Trump is reelected. And uh, it'll be good chaos because it means the system is working. And it means that Donald Trump can't have control over the southern border without the permission uh, of uh, liberal Democrats in the House and the Senate. He has the power. He did it the first four years. He'll do it the next four years. Everything else in the country may go to hell in a handbasket, but imagine if it doesn't happen. Imagine if Trump doesn't win. And imagine the interchangeable drill bit implementing liberal Democratic policies, whether it's, God forbid, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Michelle Obama, Governor Newsom, Governor Whitmer, Governor Shapiro, whoever it is, they're going to continue to enact liberal democratic policies. The interchangeable drill bit continues to save this nation. I would ask you to pray. If you're a Catholic, if you're a Protestant, if you're a Jew, if you're a Gentile, if you're a Sikh, whatever religion you are, say a prayer that God recognizes that we're in trouble and Trump must be reelected. Bill Cunningham, the great American, with you every Sunday. Right now, before they sell 